hello guys welcome to my tutorials corner my name is abhi and this is part 17 of wpf tutorials video series in this video we are going to learn about the progress bar control in wpf so what is progress bar control progress bar is an ui control which can be used to show the progress of an operation the typical visual appearance of it is it has bar which fills an area as the progress goes further. You may have noticed while copying a file from one location to another location in your computer, the operating system shows a progress bar which indicates the user that how much the file is copied and how much is still remaining. So how we will create the progress bar in WPF? On this screen you can see there is a progress bar and there is a button so the agenda for this video is that I want to create a scroll bar and when I will click on this button I am going to fill this scroll bar by 10 units each time okay so let's flip to Visual Studio and look at this in action first of all I'm going to create a stack panel and I will set its orientation to vertical and inside that I'm going to put a button and I will set its text to start progress and let's name it btn progress now I'm going to give it uh, some margin 0 from the left and 10 from the top 0 from the right and maybe 20 from the bottom okay with that I want to create the event of it so let's create its click event let's create the event handler and now I am going to create the progress bar and let's name it progress and height maybe 30 px and value 0 minimum minimum value also 0 and maximum value can be 200 with that we will have to specify the is indeterminate property to false is indeterminate to false if I will set this to true then the progress bar is going to show continuously so I don't want to do that right now so let's make it false let's move to the code window what I want here when I will click on this button I want to show the progress of this progress bar so I will increase this 10 units each time when I will click on this button so to do that I'm going to create the object of duration structure so first of all let's talk about the duration structure that what is this this structure represents the amount of time in which the animation will perform so if I have to animate the progress bar from 0 to 10th position then that animation will perform in this time frame so let's create the object of it duration duration is equals to new duration and inside that we will have to specify the time span so how much time I want to animate the progress bar I want to animate it for one second so let's set this from seconds 
and to one so the animation will be performed in one second and now we will have to create the object of double duration class so what the double duration class does it animates the double value between two target values using the linear interpolation over a specified duration so if the starting value is 0 and ending is 10 then it will animate from 0 to 10 in a specified time duration so let's create the double animation D -O double animation is equals to new double animation and inside that we will have to provide the progress bar value so that is currently 0 so let's set this to 0 and I want to increase this by 10 units units each time so let's specify the 10 I'm adding 10 here and with that we will have to specify the duration which we have just created here let's specify here and the last thing which we have to do is to call the begin animation method of progress so let's call this begin animation and for what property that is progress bar dot value property and let's specify the demo animation here so all we are done now let's go ahead and run this you can see the output as expected so now I am going to click on this button click on this and you can see the animation is here the progress bar is working this is adding 10 times each time let's click on it and this is working so that's the progress bar control in WPF so that's it from this video tutorial please subscribe comment let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching have a great day